Damn, my shit crashed last time. I just tried to start a fight. That's why I had to restart this uh, stream. I don't know what the hell happened. All right, coming up next, it is a UFC Bantamweight Championship fight between Sugar Sean O'Malley and Henry the Messenger Cejudo. So the fight is now underway. On one side, you have the fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, Malley going for the leg kick, he misses. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the jet, too. Big head kick lands. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eight. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. The ball is so just over 20 total strikes have landed for Henry Cejudo. And both guys really throwing with authority. Moves inside and is able to land the flying knee. And I guess, DC, only in your dreams, do you? And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think he's going to hold the fight over the top. With that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming Man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that oh! finger. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go oh! get him. He is getting lit up right now, John. to the final minute of this championship fight. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Strong defense there to block the shot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up, he went high with the very bad. Big kick land. And what a round! All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you... Breathe. Relax. Slow that heart rate down. It's okay. We expect... It. You ready? You ready? Round two is underway. The Olympic gold medalist Cejudo gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Cejudo's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge. As effective as straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got it hurt very bad. Oh! 
while he's been pretty accurate tonight, he's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all... Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go take that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Back to the feet. That punch no good. Oh, big left. Nice body kick. Nicely done there to keep his hands up and block that strike. He's got to protect that cut if he wants to keep the doctor out. He's got to protect the cut, John, but he's also got to be very aware because if he's got... Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw. Oh! He's out! Daddy. He's out! He's out! Oh, Daddy. goodness, what a fight. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the mm -hmm. opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be... The free. official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 48 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and still. Cap, I feel more comfortable in middleweight. <clears throat> I ain't gonna cap out in bantamweight, flyweight. Muffins be out of hands. You see, Muffins be fighting with them Sean O'Malley's and shit. Coming up next, it's a UFC bantamweight division fight. So the fight is now underway on one side with a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up for him. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most... Whoa! Yeah. Oh, he might be out. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right... Oh! Ooh. Oh! Huge Ooh. Yeah, Alright, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a close oh. distance. Damn, he's me, yeah. Back to the feet! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively. Here. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. He fucking me, yeah. This guy's really throwing with a force. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Big power to punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh! He's in trouble. Damn. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Oh, big left hook there. 
try to establish that jab. Oh! Ooh. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Blocks the shot. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Cejudo. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take Man, that finish line. My ass. to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. Oh! Ooh. Oh, my goodness. He was in my eyes. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the Ooh. knockout victory here oh, tonight. Man. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge He's win a bad for that fight. Here. He right, let's take my a look back at the ring. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official. That's a bad, decision. bad boy. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad boy. Declaring the winner by... That is a bad boy. That don't make no sense though. Why would I fight somebody all the way in Division 18 though? That's crazy. I had to get better though. Cause he just my, he kicked my ass. Straight ahead, a bantam weight tilt. I like to do that with him, too, though. I ain't with that. Sean O'Malley. Damn. We do one and one. Ready. 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 All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up right I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Trying to establish that jab once again. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Henry Cejudo. 
throwing both sides with conviction. Two minutes now to go in round one. Big punch lands. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking round early in this week. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Look at how he just gets over when he throws that kick. Another straight left. Liver kick. That strike blocked by O'Malley. Nice body kick. Hip into that leg kick. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Oh, Malley gets hit by that leg kick, and they want to start checking some of these. Yeah. See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Ten seconds to go in round one. Right hand by Henry. Oh! Round two coming up next. Stop, stop, stop. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not effective... Landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. As good a punch as he's thrown. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect, and that one landed perfect. So Hudo gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt, man. Oh! Oh, he might be out. Man, for you. I've been fighting killing as they right, say is history. Big knockout pilot. Where am I doing? I give him that. I should have finished him when I had the chance. I've been stuck at like division eleven. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's been just I've really been stuck in division eleven. This shit is crazy. I ain't tripping about them most of the I see them again. All right, coming up next, it's a flyweight matchup between TJ Dillashaw and Henry the Messenger Cejudo. Ready to fight. 
All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for fight fans around the world. And going to be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, he's going to try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground? Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Trying to establish that jab once again. Yeah. Oh, straight right. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Cejudo's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Big powerful punch land. Now he goes back to range. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo blast or something like that. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. So as we pull up some numbers here for you, 29 total strikes have now landed for Henry Cejudo. Beautiful body kicks. Yeah, man, because to me, uh, damn, Two minutes but... remain in the round. Ooh, big shot land. The right hand just misses. It's such a fast leg. Oh, vintage stuff there. Nice combination of strikes by Cejudo. 90 seconds to go in our opening round. Yeah, he don't want to fight me. To mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of yeah. that one. That's a hell of a kick right there. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. <clears throat> I'm gonna mess that pushing me out. I respect him, but shit, man. All right, here we go with round two. T.J. Dillashaw and Henry Sahoud. Who blocks the shot? The Olympic gold medalist Sahudo gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up. Keep He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. So 57 total strikes have landed for Henry Cejudo. And connecting with 46% accuracy tonight, by the way, against TJ Dillashaw. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into the opponent's thigh. Beat the play up. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to secure that knockdown. Perfect setup with the hands. Got the knockdown. Let's see if he can go find the shot that's going to finish the fight. Dillashaw gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. 
All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, yes. if you're going to sit there at the drive through order a combination, make the soda with your food. Give him the right hand behind the jab. Give him the hook. Oh. 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 Massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Mm. Definitely be out there water, y'all. Yeah. yeah, make sure to like, comment, oh subscribe. Y'all you know what's going on. If he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed oh, strike yeah. that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest. That's how I go to the Division 11. I go back. I was just Division 11 right there as a champion. Lost my shit. Went back. You feel me? I don't know what the fuck is going on. I think I beat this dude before. Or he beat me. Something like either one. No cap. <clears throat> he either beat me or I beat him or something. Coming up next, I've been rematching a lot of people UFC lately. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, no. I thought I ran into this dude before. for a mixed martial arts live event than this Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. And you remember when we finally got here in 2016, we've been showing up strong ever since. Because every time you go to MSG, you should come with a big event. This is a phenomenal arena. This is a fantastic fight environment. New York City, baby. The city of dreams. Oh! position on the ground. It was run. bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Oh, nice job by him there to get the takedown. Oh, this is tight. Full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture. To now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kabor is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. All right, so he postures up nicely done. That's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Man, how about the steam behind that Whitaker jab tonight? Robert Whitaker is a great striker. I mean, he has it all. He did all that wrestling. Boxing, and that Look, he did all that, and he tired. Big punch land. Oh, 
there's a takedown attempt, unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent defending the takedown, but now he is going to have to mix it up and get the first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to. Oh. Total strikes have now landed for Robert Wood. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This champ. is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend him, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Five minutes in the books. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. I needed that one. I beat the hell out of Jared again in there. All right, coming up next, a middleweight championship fight between Robert Whitaker uh, and this is Joel I'm, I'm, I'm taking his belt. I'm trying to take his belt. I need this. And with that, we are underway I here in round this. one, third meeting between Yoel Romero and Robert Whitaker twice before they met with UFC Gold on the line. Their 2018 meeting DC, the consensus fight of that year. It was a fantastic fight, and they can only hope <coughs> they can replicate this tonight, and it starts with round one. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice one through there. Man, it's almost like he's got a range. Oh, my goodness. Well, perhaps a sign of 
things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, it's one thing to have length, so it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Whitaker. Nice job by Romero there on the feet, not only sticking, but moving to avoid the counterattack. It's the head move. It's the athleticism of Joel Romero that allows him to be standing there flat-footed and just get out of the way whenever you try to hit him. He's always been a phenomenal athlete, and he continues to be that even as he's aged. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Robert Whitaker. Trying to establish that jab once again. Gotta take his belt. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. And he landed the right hand there. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Romero gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate. He's very fast. And he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? One of the most important strikes for the clinch is this big body shot. And they separate. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Try to establish that jab. Nice punch by Whitaker. Oh. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. I need your belt, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I need your belt. I need your belt. Below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. I need your belt, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I need your belt. I need your belt. I'm winning now, so I'm just gonna chill. All right. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. He's got to be careful dipping his head and throwing that jab. It's a big kick land. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, you can hit with a shot like that. You don't know what to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. So 65 total strikes have now landed for Robert Whitaker. And connecting at a rate of 38% against Yoel Romero. Look at him working and trying to shut the little guy. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh. I need your belt, bro. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt, I need your belt, bro. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. I need your belt, bro. Oh, heavy leg kick. Oh, I just made him quit. I just made him quit. I was beating his ass. Well, he's he's about, and I'm the champion. I just took his belt. He had Division 14. I just took his belt. Yeah. I was just treating him like a bum. Oh, my goodness. Fuck oh, off. <laughs> I was just treating him like a bug. <laughs> Damn, I just made him quit. Yo, I just treated him like a piece of garbage.
I just treated him like he wouldn't shit on earth. That's how I just got my ass up. I ain't got that. Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. Up of strikers, any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight, Chip? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're gonna go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Swing and a big miss by Robert Williams. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. Oh! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Robert Whitaker. Mm -hmm. Right hand on point. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking mm -hmm. these shots. He's not allowing mm -hmm. his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Mm -hmm. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Mm -hmm. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch mm -hmm. as he tries to set up his own mm -hmm. offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, a huge clock there. Mm -hmm. Well, it's mm -hmm. one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as mm -hmm. well as anyone. Nice kick mm -hmm. there by mm -hmm. Whitaker. Mm. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Very nice outside leg kick by mm. there, DC. Mm. We'll see if he follows it up here. Really driving the shit into his opponent's side, beating his leg up. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head, potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Very tricky to he throws that body kick. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. <laughs> Damn, be wanting to give me my respect when I be winning. That should be crazy as hell. and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Nice punch land over the top. Whitaker going for the body kick there, but he misses no setup whatsoever there. Beautiful kick. Back and forth we go! As effective as straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Hand. All right, 
right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Clean left punch followed by the right. Oh, he's hurt. Serves him up. Go get him. Big knee to the oh, body. I'm the champ. That's my belt. Just the way it's he my belt. Up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land like, a strike more for that bad boy. Right y'all know what's going on. We on the road to 300 subs. Y'all make sure y'all give me there. Y'all know what's going on. You did. Probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in his championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to root. That's a good word. I'll be back at Division 13. I'm back in my division. Back in Division 13. Two time champ of Division 13. Yeah. My shit looking good now. Okay, we're doing good. All right, what I want y'all to do, I need y'all to like, comment, subscribe, tap in with the kid. We're going to be back with some more videos. You feel me? We're going to try to defend this belt. We're going to get it in. You're in.